All right, Keith, some really good sunshine today. Sounds mm. like, though, it's going to be kind of mixed, not really full-on sunshine yeah. for the entire week. But better than it, it's been. Like, we've yeah. been kind of in the doldrums yeah. as far as that goes. Yeah. Like, I thought I was the only one who was annoyed by this, but then I came back to civilization today after being, you know, like a lot of us <laughs> were working or whatever, yeah. and uh, everybody seemed annoyed by it, so I felt justified. Yes, you are. Like happy to prove you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what you say to me all the time. <laughs> uh, nice and bright out there today. We will see some more cloud cover tomorrow. You can see some clouds into the mountains. Temperatures about freezing for the most part. Uh, the mountain state into the 20s. Tonight will drop down to about 25 in a lot of spots, 20 in Augusta, Waterville, and maybe some upper teens in Bangor, but it should be warmer than last evening. And as uh, Chris just mentioned there, it'll be a bit mixed tomorrow, a mixture of sun and clouds, more cloud cover compared to today. Temperatures, though, warmer, upper 30s to some low 40s over southern and western Maine. We'll talk uh, 32, 35 into the mountains where we should end up. And then we've got a little chance of some precipitation on Thursday. This is really the only thing going on this week. We'll talk about the weekend in a second, but we've got a trough coming through chasing a low that you can't see offshore here that'll give us a couple of snow showers on Thursday. Conceivably, uh, we could see a coating in a couple of spots Thursday during the day. It's, it's not going to be a big deal either way, but it is cold behind it. Teens, single digits Thursday night, and then cold and breezy on Friday. Temperatures staying in the 20s, and there'll be a, a pretty gusty wind in there too. Stays quiet though Friday, Saturday, and then we'll watch our storm system on Sunday, which we are going to talk about. Storm number one misses us Wednesday. Storm number two misses us Thursday. There's that trough catching up with it. Storm number three, third time's a charm, maybe. Broadly speaking, this setup is good. We've got a blocking high to our north that supplies cold air. It also slows the storm down. You don't get many good snowstorms without a blocking high because they move too quickly. So those are good factors. The issue here is what is the amplitude of this storm, meaning what is the strength of it, how deep is it, and how northwest is it going to be? And I had presented this as the Euro model, more progressive, versus the GFS, which had bigger snow, but the GFS just did the opposite and flattened itself out. So I think what we're looking at here is there's definitely a storm around on Sunday, but it feels better right now for the southern half, maybe even third of the state than it does as a big statewide storm. Now look, we're five, five and a half days out. That could still change, but I don't think this is a slam dunk for a statewide snowstorm right now. We'll keep an eye on it, but it just seems to be skirting a bit flat, a bit progressive for that at this moment. And I have to tell you that there are many storms in this pattern. The next one coming in mid next week may not be an all rain event. It may actually be another heavy rainfall event. So it's busy. But what does that translate into exactly? That's what we're trying to work out. So I'd still pencil in snow on Sunday, especially if you're, say, uh, Camden South, like that kind of, that's the zone I feel best about right mm. now. Uh, but I mean, the whole state. to go. Yeah, exactly. We got a lot of time. I've seen these models wiggle way more than this, but that's where we're at right now. And then we'll watch the storm mid next week, which has some warmer signals. Definitely getting more active here, though. Okay. Um, into next week. But by your standards, we should have a snowfall map in the next 20, 24 we hours. Dana and I were just talking about this. I've done it six or seven days out, yeah. but I would like them. I would like it to look better than it does right now, and it just yeah. it's too variable right now. But just all, all jokes aside, yeah. Thursday stuff though, nothing really crazy. No, right just home a about not affecting of that. travel. No, no, no. no. Sounds good. Thank all right. You.